Hey everyone, so I'm about to take the big plunge into getting good internet out here. So since I've moved out here, this is one thing I don't have. I have the slowest internet in the county. Um, I have Windstream. It, it, there, that's basically the only thing that's out here. It's really slow DSL. My house is, for whatever me reason, the slowest ever. Um, so I want to talk about the plan for getting internet. I've seen people do stuff like this online. Um, so I really, I want to tell you my plan because I want people to shoot it down and tell it, uh, t tell me before I actually put a bunch of money down on this. Thank you everyone for donating, those who donated when I, uh, you know, did a little campaign on this. Um, but before I spend that money, I want to make sure that I'm using it in the wisest possible ways, uh, to get exactly everything I need, uh, efficiently. So here's the deal. There are three main things that I need to worry about here. Okay. Well, first off, I should tell you the general idea of what I'm doing. Okay, uh, I am going to be using cell connection, LTE, the LTE network. I'm specifically going to be using the Verizon network to get internet. Okay, and there are three little parts of that puzzle. There's what plan I'm going to be using. There is the router that I use that converts LTE to Wi-Fi, so or you know uh, uh, any internet internet connection that my computer can plug into. So there's the router I use. That's number two, and number three is the antennas I use. Now, first off, on the antennas, let me go ahead and say a lot of people before were just like, why don't you just use your cell phone for a hotspot? Implying that, like, I have, like, there's also no cell phone coverage out here. That's what people need to understand. This is, I, I don't think you understand how remote I am, okay? Like, uh, uh, I mean, the biggest city in this county is, like, maybe a couple hundred people. I mean, maybe a thousand, all right? Technically. Um, like, this is not, there are a couple cell towers in this county. If you go out this way... I want to say maybe uh, seven miles, maybe eight miles, you'll get to a uh, cell tower. Technically, it's in a different county. And then if you go that way, like maybe uh, maybe 10 miles, you might, or maybe closer to 12, you might get to another tower. Both of these towers use band. Uh, I know that both of them use band 13. That's a, Veri that's a Verizon band. And I think that one over there uses band four. Um, but... Uh, Basically, I need, so the reason I need antennas, some people can just get a, a 4G router and that's it. That's all they need because they have enough 4G just around that that router can pick up. And they do pick up way better than cell phones. Um, but I, I'm pretty much sure that I'm going to need some antennas. So I'll start at that one. The antenna, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it up on this ham radio tower, Okay. Uh, first off, a lot of people ask me about ham radio, implying that, like, I use it, I don't know anything about it, it was just there when I moved in, I don't know anything about ham radio, to be honest. But I have that tower, it's really tall, so I'm gonna be using it, uh, I'm probably gonna install or have someone else install it, because my roof is really, you know, steep, I don't know, I might just hire some dude to help me with it. Um, but I want to install some antennas up there. Now, uh, when I did the stream where I was raising money, I said that I was gonna get a parabolic grid, and that is like, a it's, it's, it has a little antenna that points out, and then behind it, it has sort of a mesh grid, um, and that's what it looks like. And because I, I heard a lot of people say, oh, that's the best for getting long distance, okay? Like, my tower is pretty far away. I'm not just picking up cell coverage just floating around right here. I gotta go pretty far, so people told me that's what I need. But after I did that stream, a lot of people were like, no, 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 you just need a directional Yagi antenna, and that will be enough. Okay, like a Mimo antenna. It's like one of the white things. You get two of them. You point them in one direction or something like that. Um, so I, I'm not quite sure which one of those I should get at this point. I don't know which is going to be more effective. Um, I think I said in the stream, if I overspend, if I get something I don't need, I might just, uh, you know, end up donating. Or, well, I might end up returning it, but I might end up setting up uh, uh, similar internet at my church because my pastor really wants, uh, uh, you know, fast internet. Internet. So anyway, that's step one. That's the antennas. Then, of course, they're going to be connected by uh, coaxial cables to the the, the uh, router that I'm going to be using that takes that uh, 4G and 4G LTE and converts it to the internet that we know and love. So that means, first off, the router that I use has to have those coaxial connections to connect uh, to the the uh, uh, the antennas. A lot of people have recommended some. Uh, really good routers that have good reviews, but they don't have those connections. That is something I absolutely need. And I need to have a router that works on the Verizon network because, again, that's the only stuff that works out here. Uh, the one that I said that I was originally going to try is the MoFi router. It works on, they have a version for Verizon. It's supposed to be pretty heavy duty. 
Um, and I've heard good things about it. It seems to be the thing that people usually use, but other people have recommended other ones. So if you know, it, it has, again, it has to be able to connect to antennas. It has to be, it has to work on the Verizon network. It has to have a SIM card slot. Um, if, if you can find one with that, that is maybe better or cheaper, um, you know, just make me aware of that. I've looked at some others, but you know, just tell me if you, you, ha especially if you have experience, the last thing. The last piece in this puzzle is the plan that I'm going to use. As I said, I'm going to use a Verizon plan. I don't have Verizon right now. I have T-Mobile. Um, so I'm probably, ideally, what I'd actually like to do is have one plan that I could use for internet and phone. Like, I could get home to my house and I could take the SIM card out of my phone. Well, actually, I really don't even take my phone, frankly, that, that often. But I'd like to be able to use that SIM card for either internet or for my phone. Uh, like be able to just take it out and put it in either one. I don't know if there are any restrictions on that, but I actually need a Verizon phone too. I don't have one of those and I, I don't want any kind of, I see the thing is you can't just get a, a normal phone that accepts calls and doesn't have stupid smartphone features on it. Absolutely moronic, moronic. even these feature phones nowadays, they're just gimmicks. Um, but anyway, so I need a Verizon plan. The, pl the problem is if I'm using this for my main internet, um, I am probably going to be using lots of bandwidth, uh, and a lot of these plans will either have bandwidth caps or, you know, limits, or they'll, uh, throttle you after a particular point. So I have two options that I know of. Okay, something has crawled up my nose. Give me a second. We don't do video editing on this channel. I just want to be clear. So my two options are as follows. First off, I know that on YouTube, or YouTube, uh, what's that site? eBay, and possibly Craigslist, Cra Craigslist, a lot of people will now have <laughs> a lot of people will be selling these old grandfathered in uh, unmetered unlimited Verizon plans uh, for you to rent okay so that's one option I will say if anyone watching this channel who just loves the channel so much and wants to make an ultimate donation you can donate me one of those if you have one if you're not using it I would have to be eternally grateful because that would be fantastic to have um, just just because I don't know it's, it's something I it's literally money cannot buy that okay um, if that does not work, if I can't find a good cheap way to rent one of these things or get it somehow, um, the only other option I know of is there's a, uh, there's a plan with a company called, I want I, th I think it's called Visible. So Visible, I think has plans just like this. They're actually pretty cheap. I want to say they're like 20, $25. And I think they're even targeted for being used like this. Uh, except for, I think they have some kind of caps or limits at some point. I've heard that other people have used them. Uh, for this purpose, though, so if you've had experience with that, not not seen someone online who talked about it, I mean, but if you've had experience with that, uh, you can you can tell me what that's like, wh what the caps are, what all this kind of stuff, like how it actually works. Um, ideally, like at this point, like I would like to minimize my long term costs. Right now, uh, I pay nearly a hundred bucks for this junky internet that does not work. I would like my month monthly expenditures to be much less if I could spend fifty dollars on less on fantastic internet and on uh, uh, having a cell phone provider if I need one or I might just not I might just not have a cell phone frankly um, but I might u still use the number for like my landline or something if I can work that out does anyone know how to work that like have a landline hooked up to a, a 4g connection that that is I'm probably the only person who would want that but um, anyway, that's the plan. If you see any errors, if you see any flaws in the system, tell me because otherwise I'm going to be spending lots of money very soon on this. Tell me ASAP. Tell, email me as soon as possible uh, with whatever you know about this because I'm going to start doing it very, very soon. Um, and I, I just want to make it work. I want to not have to worry about it. I want to minimize my expenditures while still having... Uh, if this works, I, I look at speed tests that people do. If I can get this to working, I might end up having like literally the, literally the fastest internet in the county, probably multiple counties if I can pull this off. Um, but again, the startup costs are going to be hundreds of dollars. Hopefully it doesn't get as high as a thousand or something, but, uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, again, I might, I might get someone to, uh, might pay someone to get up there because I don't know. Yeah. My, my roof is super steep. Anyway, that's about it. Um, yeah, you just tell me if you know anything. Otherwise, and of course, I'll be doing videos on the installation and all this kind of stuff to make it worth your while. Uh, just because this is something that I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people in my real life all over the place would like to know how to do this kind of stuff. And if it works, you might even be able to do it under, maybe even under $500. I, I don't think it would be that cheap. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to end the video right under 10 minutes.